Hello everybody, this is Ishan for Zfei Tech and welcome to a brand new video and today I want to teach you guys on something that might actually help you out if you're still having a bit of a problem with having no no home button or if your home button is actually broken or you know just not working properly right so the way you can actually fix this issue now obviously I've got the iPhone 10 but some of you that obviously have the iPhone 8, 8 pluses or below you can have a home button right so if you've got an issue with that or it's not working or if you just want to make it easy for yourself in terms of accessing some cool features like Apple Pay, um, camera etc etc there's a bunch of features which I'm going to go through the way you can access this uh, is if you go into general uh, go into accessibility and if you scroll down you'll see something called assistive touch click on uh, or toggle on should we say uh, assistive touch and you get this little circle here which you can move wherever you want which is really nice and convenient because obviously screen sizes are getting bigger these days uh, and if you tap on it you get these different options if you go on device you get more options you can lock the screen you can rotate it mute it so if you click on mute it will mute if you can unmute it you'll unmute uh, volume down up and down you go on more uh, you can screenshot and there you go you can screenshot as it does which is really nice and convenient if you go into it again again there's so much more features reachability which is really really nice and if you go back to it you can click on reachability and you go back to its normal place you can obviously have a play with this and see what kind of features it has you can set it and edit it uh, the way you like um, let's go on multitasking which is really, really nice as well we know what all that's about okay accessibility shortcut that brings up to any accessibility shortcut smart invert again you can actually edit this as well to your liking so this is really really helpful um so let's open up the settings again if we scroll down actually scroll up rather customize a top level menu and i can add to it if i click on add i can add even more to it if you want just you know less which uh, might be nice and easy uh, you can do that as well. So if I click on that, for example, I might want to add Siri to it. Click on Done. Uh, if I press on to that, Siri appears right there at the top. I click on Siri. Siri here. How may I help you? Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? It should be nice today. Yeah, Up there to you go. Breeze. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Let's get rid of Siri. Uh, if I want to add another one to it, of course, let's do that one. So say something that I, I I pretty much use, should we say? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see which one is control center. How about that one, right? I use control center right now. I gotta go from the top down, which is a bit annoying. But if I have this lower, I can do this with one hand, which is like this. And here we go. I can you get I'll get to my calculator quick or whatever I want to do. If I want to go back to it or you Siri rather, I can do that as well, uh, not a problem. But if I want to go to control center, you know, quickly I might get my torch on, pretty cool. So like I said, guys, there's a lot of benefits to this. Uh, like I said, you can move it around, you can add more, you can add less uh, if you wanted. You can add more, obviously, like I said as well. It's really, really convenient. So hopefully this helps you out, guys. Uh, this is assistive touch on the new iPhone or any iPhone that may have an issue with the Touch ID button. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It kind of shows that you like it. If this does help you out, please leave a comment as well down below. I'm really interested in what you guys feel about this and whether it's helpful or not. Uh, if you've got any questions about it or any tips as well, uh, I'll take those as well and answer anything you've got. So thanks for watching guys. This is Zishan for Zfit Tech. Please share, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.